Well, yeah, we had uh, a few tips on when we, when we knew we were going to be passing, when we knew we were going to be run. So um, we really wanted to uh, steal some third downs off first and second down. And, yeah. What you Eventually, you guys were able to start yeah. teeing off on their quarterback. Uh, was it just a matter of wearing them down over the course of the game, or did you guys figure something out that you were able to exploit? Um, no, we just uh, took in our coach's message of showing determination and grit like throughout the whole game. And um, we just knew if we kept getting after him, we'd get home, and we trusted in our training. And, Pay off. When you do get home, you see the ball pop out and then get scooped up and go the other way. What? <laughs> Take me through that. Uh, I didn't even know he still had the ball, honestly. Um, I was just pulling the uh, running back back and just tried to get a hand in there. And then I saw Myron running and tried to get a block for him. S sad we couldn't get him in the end zone. <laughs> we, did How you much think he was faster than that? Who, Myron? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was moving. Yeah, I knew, I knew he, was, he was a pretty quick guy, yeah. How, how much fun is that when the defense is just taking over like that? Oh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun just being able to celebrate with our teammates. Uh, it's always being it's always more fun uh, celebrating than uh, just like trying to get back on track. But so yeah, it's always fun. What was said in the second in halftime? Um, we just knew that if we just trusted in Coach Kelly's uh, me, uh, me message this week of just showing our determination and our grit that we'd come out on top. So that's what we knew. We knew they were a good fourth quarter team, and so we had to stick with it all four quarters. And yeah, Jameer, what is the grand plan for you here this year? Um, I, I'm not really sure, honestly. Well, we'll see what happens. So, yeah. But I mean, is it something that you guys talked about in the off season, the possibility of preserving your eligibility so you could come back? And conceivably as a starter in a position to be a starter? Um, well, yeah, we it is something that we talked about, but I mean, it's been, I'm focused on this season right now and um, make, doing anything it takes to be back in the national championship. It, it had to feel awfully good, though, to get out there, have your opportunity, and be able to show what you're capable of. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's def it definitely felt very good. Um, I've been um, working with Khalid and all those guys and Daylin and Julian, and um, they've all been, we've always just been making each other better, so it was, it was just a, a very good uh, coming out party for me. It, um, is it hard to have to wait your turn? Obviously, you have some really good players in front of you, so you un I'm sure you understand, but it's got to be a little difficult to have to, to wait your turn, too. Well, yeah, it's definitely hard. Um, you get in some places sometimes where you start to doubt yourself, but um, you got. I just um, always take the messages, trust God, trust my coaches, and um, and it works out. And then, you guys are really punching at the ball, trying to get the strip sack. Yeah. So, is there something about the way Perkins held the ball that made you guys think you could get the ball out? Oh no, we um we we work turnover drills every day in yeah. practice. So like, uh, our our main our main goal as a D line is to get on the throwing arm. So. I mean, we, it's something that we, we take into every game and that we work on every day. Not specific.